Good morning, welcome back to my channel. Um, I'm not gonna like vlog what I did yesterday, like the entire get ready process. Um, I think what I'm gonna do, cause it is 6.34, is I'm going to just do my skincare again today. And then I'm just going to curl my hair and then have it ready for tonight. But I don't think I'm going to do makeup until later just because I don't want to feel like yeesh all day, if that makes sense. Like I like when like my clothes can touch my face or I can touch my face and it doesn't like rub off my face. Um, but this is the Fit Check. We got the airy, um, super soft cropped long sleeve. And then just like the Lululemon flare align leggings. And I'm just going to wear my Ritzia little puffer vest over top. And then I'm just going to curl my hair. And that's it for the morning. Then we got to make breakfast, get all our stuff ready, and head out. But I think that's my plan. I'm not going to put makeup on until I get home later. So it's fresh for the event tonight. Hello, it is now 2.55. I just got home from work. Um, I've been working in the mornings um, for the last little while here. I felt like I was going like literal like stir crazy at home. Um, so I got like a part-time job. I also want to get another one. I am the type of person that cannot have one job. Like one income just for me mentally isn't enough because I feel like, I don't even know how to explain it. I don't feel like I'm like thriving unless I'm working like five jobs and making a crap ton of money. Plus I want to do my basement. I have so many ideas and plans for the house. So I'm kind of tempted to get a nighttime evening job. But I just don't know what I want to do outside of it. Cause I need time to obviously like I have my own business. So I have to have time for that. But at the same time, I want to do it. So I don't know what to do, but I just got back from this job and I've only worked till 2 PM anyway. So it's like super chill, but um, yesterday I showed you the thing that I got for Tanner and I for like the t-shirt screen press thing but um, he's been looking for a blender and he was looking at marketplace before he left for work and he couldn't find anything that was like worth it and blenders are super expensive but like we only have one and I need it here and he also needs one so I didn't want him to take mine <laughs> so I found one on uh, Amazon because it's the prime days so I ordered it for him through my account because I have the prime account but I want to see what it's like. It's a ninja. So we have a ninja blender. I don't know which way to open this. Um, but I have like the big one, like the big full pack that you get from like Costco. Cause I bought it years ago when it was on sale. So this is like the magic bullet version. So it's like the small cups rather than like a full actual blender. So I'm thinking it'll be good cause it's a ninja and ours is great. And I've had it for like four years maybe. This is what it looks like. I think it'll work perfect. I'm not gonna try it cause I don't wanna take it out and dirty it, but I'm gonna bring it to him this weekend. I just thought it was nice cause he takes like all the smoothies to work. So it's just literally like the cup attachment and it has lids. So I think it'll be perfect for him. And it was like 50 bucks, which is really good for a blender. Um, and then I just got another microphone for my camera because of the fact that they always break. Plus I don't like using the little individual ones when I'm just filming like this. Um, and my camera like is decent for like the microphone. Cause like this is without any sort of microphone, just like with the normal camera one. But I want to film like at the gym and stuff, but not always have to attach my other cameras. So I wanted to try this one. And again, it's a prime deal. So let's see. It kind of reminds me of one I've already had, but it has the big floof, which I like because it blocks the sound. And it's got a couple different like attachments and it's got all the cords. And then it also has a bag to put it in. So we'll try it out and see how it goes and if it's good. But it's almost three. So I'm going to unpack all my stuff that I need to put in the dishwasher, all that good stuff. And then I'm gonna start to get ready. I still am not 100% on my outfit. I don't know, figure it out. But I'm gonna get ready, do my makeup, fix my hair, and then we'll be good to go. I just attached the microphone and I'm literally just making this clip to see how it sounds. Hopefully it works and sounds better, but we'll see. I finally picked my outfit. 
it's a lot more business than casual, but I just have like my little um, dynamite tank top. Uh, where are these from? Zara? My wide leg trousers, my like snake skin, huge high heel boots from College Spring, and then my thrifted blazer. I tried on like 12 outfits and I just feel comfortable in this. So that's what we're gonna go with. My mom's on her way and I'll try to get some clips on my phone while I'm there. And then we'll recap it when I get home and then start in another one tomorrow. Hey guys, I'm finishing this on my phone because it's currently 11 p.m. We all thought that like the way that the schedule was laid out for that dinner thing that it was going to be done by like 8, 8.30. It went until 10 p.m. And we got to like try out all like the little foods. There was eight different, eight, I think eight or nine different stations. So it was like all these different chefs competing. Um and we got to try them all out but like some things were like duck and like weirder type foods because it was all like more fancy and there was just certain things I just could not eat I don't like certain textures or even just like knowing that it's like say for example duck I just I don't know why I just mentally cannot have that so I was starving <laughs> by the time we left um but it was a really cool experience and we got to see like who was gonna go to the um I don't know what it's called but there was like all the different chefs and then there was the top three placements and then the winner is going to some sort of like cooking competition in Ottawa I can't remember what it is but it was really cool and um we got to see you'll have seen like the phone clip that I had of the previous like lead singer to the bare naked ladies um he and then his new like band people that he plays with they were all there and they were performing throughout the night, which was super cool. Um, yeah, I'm so tired. So if you guys like this vlog, this one's not very interesting. Honestly, this was like the most gong show of a day. But like like I said, I don't I don't know how consistent I'll be with these week like daily vlogs. Um, and also I don't know how interesting they'll be like every day because like my life is not always interesting. That's just the thing. I'm not an influencer. I don't do social media full time. So it's like I'm busy most of my day. And then when I'm home, I'm trying to like catch up on stuff. And then like today, there's just been so much like go, go, go where I haven't even had a chance to like sit down and just unwind. So if you guys like these videos, just please give it a thumbs up. Leave comments below. Um, and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any more videos with me. And yeah, that's all I gotta say. I hope you guys have the absolute best freaking day ever. And I will see y'all in the next one.